Do you have any YouTube channel and why not use this type of outro? Hey Smir sir, today I am giving you a new outro templates for your After Effects and Premiere Pro project file. Just download the template from my description link and install this font before you start because of you don't need any font missing in your system. So first you need to install this font and you can delete this folder after installation now here is the three file you can see and this is the CS versions and you can find the rename here and also I am attached the CC 2018 an older version of CC file you can use as per your system and now go to file and open your project file if you are using CS you use the CS file and if you are using CC 2018 choose the right version and here is the file you can see the three logo reveal or outro file project and you can if you double click here you can adjust your templates if you want to change the name just double click here or you can use the type tool from toolbar menu and click on the text layer I think the best way to double click just in text layer you can adjust your channel name and also you can adjust your caption and everything and and if you need to change the background color everything i added to the controls and go just go to the fs control window and you can adjust everything and if you want to use this social media logos before you or this is the social media logos you can use just a tick on and if you want to customize your logo just go to logo file composition and out add a, your custom logo into that composition and go to the control and tick off everything and if you tick on you can set the social media logos and everything you can control and if you need any a custom logo go to the logo here composition and add a custom logo to this folder so in this composition and also you can control the logo size and you can also control the channel <laughs> name tracking and everything you can control from here and also change the position and and here is the transparency background transparency and if you want the video at starting transparent you can just tick off the background transparent and also you can control the logo tint if you are using a green your actual color logo just tick off the logo tint and also control the colors of the elements and shapes and everything you can control from here and just to do everything like this in rest of logo versions you can control everything like this in v2 and v3 work draw lower wheels now if you are using premiere pro so here is the premiere profile and Go to the premiere and create a new sequence in my i just create a low resolution a 720 sequence and go to the window and essential graphics if you don't see this window you must install the latest version of premiere 
I'm going to browse and here is the install motion graphics template and just to copy this location and paste here the simple thing find the downloaded premium pro templates and just double click on that mock graph files and if you you can use this just to drag and drop into timeline this is a 4k resolution and just to scale the frame size and you can control everything like after effects in premiere the only thing you cannot change the logo you can only use the social media icon in premiere that's the difference between premiere and after templates if you want to change your logo go to after effects and you can change the logo or if you are using this premiere pro templates you can only change the you can only change the social media icons now hope you enjoy thank you for watching have a nice day